In this video, I show you the best photo editing software for PC and Mac, which is completely free. If you're new to the channel and you find this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and leave a like as it helps get this video to more people. And please do watch this guide right until the end as I'm showing you a really good software and then exactly how to use it and go and edit your photos. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my desktop and let's go and continue with this guide. So this free video editing software is actually online based. We don't have to download anything. It's completely online and as I said before, it's completely free. So let's go and continue with this, but I just wanna say one thing. Once I go and show you this software online, I do recommend you do keep watching this video as I'm showing you exactly how to use it. But let's go and get straight into this. So all you want to do is open up your search browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome and it seems to work well with this online software. So all you want to do is simply search for the software or program called PicMonkey. But as I said before, do keep watching as I'm showing you the full steps. Search for PicMonkey just like so. It's gonna take a minute to load and all you want to do is make sure you come to PicMonkey.com. As you can see here, it says photo editor. So click here and then all you want to do is simply go and click on make something. Then it's gonna take you to the next slide here and we simply need to go and sign in. So you can sign up with Facebook, Google, or just sign up with your email. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna simply go and put my email in and then my password. So once you go and sign up for your account, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna take you to the home page. I'm gonna click off here just for now and here we go. So as you can see, I have actually made a few before, but let's go and simply go and click on edit new image. So click here. And as you can see, we can go and upload our images. So I'm gonna go and simply go and click on computer and then I can go and upload my file. So simply go and click on it and then go and click open. And as you can see, it's now inputting the image and loading it and it'll just take a few seconds. Boom, I'm gonna go and click got it. And now I'm gonna go and show you exactly how we can go and edit this. Now, just before I go and jump into this edit section, then all I want to show you is on the left, We've also got textures, effects, edits, of course, we've got touch up and we've got frames going over all over these. So as you can see, all we want to do is make sure we've got edit selected and these are gonna be the main edits to go and add to your image. So let's go and start right at the top to where it says crop canvas. Simply click here and you can go and resize the canvas. You want it to be smaller, just like that. If I could crop something out, but if you don't like something, simply go and click on cancel and there you go. It's gonna completely undo it and you can go and resize and rotate, but they're fairly sort of straightforward ones. Then we've got exposure, so you can go and adjust the brightness, the highlights, the midtones, the shadows, the contrast. So many things you can go and adjust. And once again, if you don't like it, simply go and click cancel, and it's gonna put it back to how it was before. We've also got colors here, so you can go and change sort of the temperature, the tint, the saturation, the vibrance, the fade, so many awesome ones we can go and change. So if you want it to be a bit colder, say, you can simply drag it like that, and it's gonna make it colder, or you can go and increase it if you want it to be warmer, just like this. So there's so many professional tools in, I absolutely love this. Then we've got the advanced edits as well. So you can go and do the color change, which I think is quite cool. So you go and select the color to change. So if I go and click blue to change, say, click here, and then you can go and change the hue of just the blues. As you can see, it doesn't really change the green, it's just changing the blue, which I think is really cool. Um, and it's really professional, you know, you can change only certain effects of certain colors, which I think is really useful. But I'm gonna go and click cancel for now. So let's go and check out Touch Up next. So as you can see, this is gonna be really useful if you've got someone with someone in. For example, you've got the airbrush, you've got skin smoother, you've got teeth whiten, and then you've got effects of the eyes and so many sort of awesome things. Like this is really professional stuff. And it's also a bit easier than some of these professional softwares because these are already there. You can literally go and do like a spray down on somebody. Like you can't really get that in many of these tools. So that's one reason I really do like PicMonkey. And also we've gone and got frames as well. So if you're trying to sort of make a cool effect for posting a picture on social media, we could go and do like shape cutouts, for example, and then you could go and make your image fit into squares. You could make it into like a hexagon or anything you want, basically. And at the top of this menu, we've also got textures, so you can go and change sort of color gradients and stuff like that to go and put on top, but you may not want to do that and just keep it more basic. But then we've also got the effects as well, so you can go and sort of add filters, I guess you could say. So as you can see, we can go and add a, a, a dusk filter, for example. Now that looks quite cool, actually. And then you could go and click apply, and then you can go and save it. So I could go and click apply just like this and then it's gonna go and save it. Even if you dislike it, you can still go and click undo and it's gonna go and undo it. And also at the top, you can go and add text. You could go and put other photos or videos on top of it. You've got graphics and you can go and draw on it. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more content just like this. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.